Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at five pro tips for your Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, Fire Cube, whatever kind of Fire TV device you have, or if it's a Fire TV, Smart TV, these tips will work for you also. Now these are my top five pro tips that help you get the most out of your Fire TV. If you have something you want to add to this list, leave me a comment, let me know uh, down below. I'd love to hear your suggestions for the top five pro tips for Fire TV owners. Now a few things before we get into it, and some of the things I'm going to talk about here are things you can't actually do on the Fire TV. You gotta do it on Amazon through your account. And I have a post that walks you all through that and includes links to everything I'm about to talk about here and have it all in writing. Check out the show notes and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to that story over at cordcarsnews.com where you can read about this, get the links, and hopefully help it be very easy. But I'm gonna show you everything I can show you on this device also. Um, and also before we get into it, hey, could you help me grow? Could you help me support my family? All you have to do is let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping me support my family. Just hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow, helping us support our families. All right, let's start off with a very basic one, but one I find very helpful. I love casting videos from YouTube, Netflix, and more to my Fire TVs. The problem is they're Fire TV 1, Fire TV 2, Fire TV 3, or Luke 1, Luke 2, Luke 3, depending on how you name them when Amazon started automatically naming the new Fire TVs you buy. And that's not always helpful. I want to know, hey, which one's in the living room? Which one's here in my studio? Which one's in my office? Which one's in my bedroom, for example? And you can actually go back and rename your devices. There's a link on the Amazon page to help you manage your content and devices. Now, in that link in the story, at the top, there's different ones. So when you first open that link, it's going to show you all the digital content you purchase. That includes like Kindle, eBooks, and more. But at the top, it says devices. And in there, you can rename Fire TVs, Fire Tablets, Kindles, and more. This was helpful. Is I got a new Fire um, Tablet recently. My daughter got a new Fire Tablet because she got my old one. It allowed me to go back and rename that tablet that was Luke's tablet to my daughter's tablet. Helps me track who has what device. Very nice, that way when you're casting to your Fire TV through YouTube or other devices, it's super easy to quickly find that and cast to the correct device by the name. All right, let's talk real quick about the home screen. Now, I absolutely love the Fire TV home screen, and you got this uh, row right here of apps. Now, you can actually rearrange that. All you have to do is scroll over to this little um, three squares and a plus icon, and this is where you're gonna find all of your different apps. Now, hitting the menu key, the three line keys on your Fire TV remote, it's right next to the home button, to the right of it, three lines. You see there's an um, option here to move this. And I can now actually go up here and move this all around. So for example, maybe I don't care about news. And I can now take news and I can move it out of there. And Hulu just automatically filled that spot. It allows me to custom create a line of my favorite apps across the top here. I'm always amazed a little bit. This is a pretty simple one. You may be saying, Luke, everybody knows this. You'd be amazed how many people don't know that or just always go into the screen to find Disney Plus, for example, and other apps that they actually use every day where they may not actually take advantage of the Amazon recommended. Maybe you unsubscribe from Netflix. Maybe you don't pay for it anymore. This is a great way to have your favorite apps with that. Again, once you select the app you want, there's a three button line here, the menu button. If you click that, it will bring up this sub menu here and you can do um, select move and then you can put it anywhere you want in the list here with that. All right, num number three, Bluetooth headphones. Now this one I absolutely love for um, when my wife is sleeping, I don't want to distract her or when I'm playing video games with strong language and my young children are around and I don't want them to listen to the language. I sometimes use Bluetooth headphones and you can actually connect those to your Fire TV. This is great too if you have a smart um, TV with a Fire TV built in um, to be able to listen to private um, content through it. But if you go over to the settings icon all the way to the um, side here, you can have a controllers and device. Now this is also where you can connect a new Amazon Fire TV remote, a game controller if you're playing games to the Fire TV, or under other device here, you can actually connect all kinds of devices, including speakers, if you have Bluetooth speakers, headphones, remotes, keyboards, and mice. Now the keyboards is actually a pretty cool option. It allows you to, for example, 
easily type in passwords on the screen if you want to do that. I mostly take advantage of the Bluetooth um, with the Fire TV Edition Smart TV that sometimes used for gaming. So like I said, my kids don't hear some of the language I don't want them to hear. I may enjoy Grand Theft Auto, but it doesn't mean I want them listening to Grand Theft Auto, for example. All right, number four with this. This is another one that's really simple. I think most of us have a um, smart device, but I think very few people actually take advantage of this simple little feature. And that's the ability to cast from your phone or your tablet or your laptop to your Fire TV. You can actually go and take a YouTube video or Netflix, for example, start watching it and click on the cast button in there and your Fire TV will show up, allowing you to cast to your Fire TV, your YouTube and Netflix videos, very easy. Now, I don't like to be logged in on my Fire TV because my daughter's watching Roblox videos and I don't want my personal YouTube account being filled with um, Roblox and um, stupid little unboxing videos, whatever, whatever it is. Hey, call them stupid, but as an adult, you're looking at some of these kids' videos you're like, oh no, but do respect the people who make those. But if you don't like them, hey, you don't want to be logged in, you don't want that on your phone, you don't want that on your computer. Well, if you cast from your phone when you're logged in, it helps you quickly get access to all the YouTube content that you want from your account through your phone, um, for example, to your TV. And if you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about when it comes to kids filling up your YouTube feed with all kinds of random videos and suddenly you're getting recommended eight different videos on how to make slime when you really don't care about that on YouTube. So keep that in mind. And the last one is actually, uh, again, something you can't do on the Fire TV, but this is really good. Did you know that Amazon is keeping a voice recording of everything you say to your Fire TV through your voice remote, through Alexa and more? You can actually go and delete that. So again, I have a link to this in that story down in the first pinned comment and in the show notes. If you click on that, you can actually go in there. Um, and delete that. Now at the top again, it's gonna open up the list and the first page it always opens up is all the content you own. So if you have Kindle books, movies and so forth, it'll show that first. At the very top, there is a row where one of them was the device row where you can rename the devices you own. The next, a little farther down is privacy. If you click on privacy, you can select voice recordings. You can listen to your old voice recordings and you can delete them all. So if you don't want Amazon remembering you asking questions or what's the weather, like I seem to do quite a few times throughout the day, uh, as I try to decide, you know, what's the weather tomorrow? Maybe I wanna go out today if it's gonna be bad tomorrow, for example. You can go and delete all that through the Amazon settings in that um, link down below. So here you go, five quick tips. Name your devices to make it very easy to know when you're casting videos, which device you're doing it to. Also works for Fire tablets, Kindles, and more. Uh, remove or rearrange apps on the home screen here. Now I love how Amazon suggests stuff. It's often stuff I am interested, often stuff I did watch, but often I just wanna to get to um, YouTube or I just wanna to get to Disney Plus. And being able to rearrange this quick launch bar of um, apps is really nice. Connected Bluetooth headphones, keyboards, and mice. Great option to easily type in passwords and, like I said, great option to have some privacy when you're listening to a, maybe a video game or movie you don't want your kids to hear. And la um, casting videos, Netflix and YouTube to your Fire TV. And lastly, deleting voice recordings. You can now delete your voice recordings so Amazon won't remember what you were asking Alexa to do. Well, there you go. There's the five um, pro tips. I think that a lot of people don't take advantage of these five um, features. Leave me a comment. What would you add to this list? I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care. Be safe. We'll be back again real soon.